Hello, sweethearts. How are you all today? I'm going to talk about various entrance exams, how to prepare, what are the different topics. Even though it is about entrance exams, remember, these are all very big universities, entrance exams. MA entrance exams are also like nets. So many major authors' works are asked in entrance exams. I will tell you in general about everything that is important. I have not included a lot of questions. I will just teach you and tell you, talk to you in general. If you want, I can do a set of questions also. Okay, question answer session also I will do. Today I have just included, I was studying and we have included a lot of major topics that are important. I will give you an overview of the topics. For people preparing for net and other exams also, this will be very useful. Because in JNU, DU, etc., MA entrance exams are like net so deep. Whatever exam you are writing, you will benefit from this session. Like that we will do today. Okay, guys? Look at this. In JNU MA entrance, they talk about history of English, both language and literature, literary theory and criticism, relationship between literature, culture and society, Indian English literature and the world. I will do question answer session. Today I will introduce all the topics and then I will do question answer series. Non-literary, artistic and cultural forms. Non-literary means films, painting, other art forms. That also is very important. So, we have to know a history of English literature and language. So many questions from language also will come. We have to know literary theory and criticism. Relationship between literature, culture and society. Indian English literature. Then non-literary artistic and cultural forms. Okay, we will cover all this today. We will do an overview of all this. I am just telling you the basic major things now. In Jamia Milia Islamia MA entrance, you should know about events in the literary world. That means literary history, contemporary literary history as well as ancient history. History of English literature, major authors, works, movements, periods, literary terms and genres. You have to study classical literature also, literary movements, theory and criticism again. You have to do readings from literary theory criticism. You'll have to write essay also. And authors, texts, movements, critical perceptions. You may have to write about authors' works, etc. How to interpret, analyze, they will check. Then DU and other entrance exams. Talk about medieval poetry. This is almost covering everything. Uh, medieval poetry onwards to contemporary literature, criticism and theory, language, everything. Prosody, rhetoric, figures of speech. Shall I just uh, ask you some things? I will just ask you randomly. How many lines are there in a terse set? Tell me. How many lines are there in a terse set? Terse set, T-E-R-C-E-T, -E -E was introduced by Thomas Wyatt into England. Terset was introduced by Thomas Wyatt into England. Tell me how many lines are there in a terset? It is 
three lines. How many lines are there in a sestet? It is six lines. And how many lines are there in a quintain? Quintain. Quintain has five lines. Quintain. Do you know how many lines are there in a rubai? R U B A I. Rubai. Remember rubaiyat. How many lines are there in a rubai? A rubai is a quatrain. Quatrain means four lines. How many lines are there in a ballad stanza? How many lines are there in a ballad stanza? There are four lines in a ballad stanza. Isn't it? Four lines are there in a ballad stanza. Okay. Mm. How many lines are there in a limerick? Limerick, bolo, limerick. How many lines are there? A limerick has seven, sorry, five lines. Limerick has five lines. Chaucerian stanza has seven lines. Now, uh, do you know who wrote Ode to the Confederate Dead? Do you know who wrote Ode to the Confederate Dead? I will give you a clue. It is an American new critic and a poet. Ode to the Confederate Dead is by Alan Tate. Alan Tate is a very important uh, American new critic and poet, isn't it? Tension, he wrote about tension. Now tell me, intention and extension. There are two parts in tension. What is intention? What is extension? Intention is metaphorical meaning. Extension is literal meaning. Alan Tate talked about intention and extension. Extension is literal meaning. Intention is metaphorical meaning. Will you remember? There are three groups of medieval, coming to medieval poetry, there are three groups of medieval stories in Europe. What are they? What are the three groups of medieval stories? Matter of Britain, Matter of France, Matter of Rome. Matter of Britain, Matter of France and Matter of Rome. Tell me, uh, which king is the main figure in Matter of France? Which king is the main figure in matter of France? It is Charlemagne. C-H-A-R-L-E-M-A-G-N-E. Charlemagne is the main figure in matter of France. Will you remember? Do you remember? Do you know who is the major writer of Arthurian romances in France in the 12th century? Major writer of Arthurian romances in France in the 12th century. It is Chrétien de Troy. Chrétien de Troy. Are you feeling bored? Because I am asking like this, are you feeling bored? In the medieval period, which war went on from 1337 to 1453? Which war Went on from 1337 to 1453. Bolo. Which war? It is 100 years war. 100 years war went on from 1337 to 1453. Every day I am able to make a lot of slides. Today only the syllabus major topics I have made. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Next day I will make more. Today will you forgive me? Today I will ask like this because I didn't get time. My our MA, uh, our NTA net class, HSST class all began. Na? Criticism and theory course is going on. So I did not get time for more. That's why, okay. I hope you will forgive me. Na? Every day I am making a lot of good slides. Now, tell me in which dialect did Chaucer write? In which dialect did Chaucer write? Chaucer wrote in 
East Midland dialect. Very good. East Midland dialect. Which poem uh, was written by Guillaume de Loris? Which poem was written by Guillaume de Loris? Guillaume de Loris wrote Roman de la Rose. Isn't it? Guillaume de Loris wrote uh, Roman de la Rose. Now, let me ask you, uh, which is the alliterative poem um, based on Arthurian legends? Alliterative poem based on Arthurian legends. Uh, it is drawn from Mor Morgan Le Fay's Hatred of Arthur. Morgan hates Arthur. Arthur's round table. Morgan hates Arthur. This is happening in Camelot. This book was written by the Pearl Poet. It is part of alliterative revival. Alliterative poem it is. Tell me. Part of alliterative revival written by Pearl Poet. Based on Morgan's hatred of Arthur, it is Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Do you know uh, which book, which book is a metrical romance in East Midland dialect? Which tells the story of Sir Johan on his deathbed. Sir Johan on his deathbed. It is a metrical romance written in East Midland dialect. It is the tale of Gamelin. Very famous medieval poem. The tale of Gamelin. G-A-M-E-L-Y-N. G-A-M-E-L-Y-N. The tale of Gamelin. Now, uh, which poet, which poem is divided into passes or steps? Which poem divided into passes or steps? It is Pius the Plowman. In Pius the Plowman, there are three major dream visions. Will you remember? In Pius the Plowman, there are three major dream visions. First is the vision of Holy Church and Lady Mead. Then it is the vision in Send Truth. Send Truth. Third is the vision in Do Well, Do Bet, Do Best. The vision of Do Well, Do Bet, Do Best. Three major visions are there in Pius the Plowman. Will you remember guys? Now, Goddess. Venus assigns a, a deputy called Genius. Goddess Venus assigns a deputy called Genius. In which form? You know this. There is a lover. The lover is talking to Genius. Genius is a deputy of Goddess Venus. Which poem it is? It is Confessio Amantis. Confessio Amantis. Will you remember? Confessio Amantis. Very good. Then, uh, have you heard of the allegorical poem, The Pastime of Pleasure? The Pastime of Pleasure. Have you heard? Who is the author? The Pastime of Pleasure. Author is the medieval poet Stephen Haas. H-A-W-E-S. Pastime of Pleasure is by Stephen Haas. H-A-W-E-S. Who wrote the book of Philip Sparrow? Who wrote the book of Philip Sparrow, Bolo? The book of Philip Sparrow. It is by John Skelton. 
John Skelton. Another major medieval poem is The Ship of Fools. Tell me who wrote The Ship of Fools? The Ship of Fools. It is a well-known work by Alexander Barclay. Ship of Fools is a well-known work by Alexander Barclay. Who saw list to hunt? Bolo, tell me. Who saw list to hunt? The poet is talking about hunting a hind or deer. Who saw list to hunt is a poem by Thomas Wyatt, prescribed in many universities. Thomas Wyatt. Will you remember? Then who wrote Love that doth rain? Love that doth rain. It is by Sare. Love that, that doth rain is a famous poem by Sare. Which pastoral poem was published in 1579 and dedicated to Sydney? Which pastoral poem was published in 1579 and dedicated to Sydney? I'm so sorry for not typing the questions. I will do next day, okay? One day today, please bear with me. Please forgive me. Don't leave the video. I will be, you. whatever I am saying today will be very useful for you. Who wrote, um, what did I ask you now? Ha, huh, the poem published in 1579 is Shepherd's Calendar. Shepherd's Calendar, published in 1579, dedicated to Philip Sidney. Will you remember? And tell me, who wrote Observations in the Art of English Poesy? Famous critical work from the Elizabethan period. K.A. Assistant Professor People, tell me. Observations in the Art of English Poesy is an Elizabethan critical work by... Thomas Campion. Thomas Campion wrote Observations in the Art of English Poesy. Tell me who wrote um, The Art of English Poesy. The Art of English Poesy. It is by George Putenham. George Putenham who wrote A Defense of Rhyme. Who wrote A Defense of Rhyme? A Defense of Rhyme is by Samuel Daniel. A Defense of Rhyme is by Samuel Daniel. Very, very important. Will you remember guys? So many of you will get this in the exam. This is very important. Uh, there is a big poet, book of poetry called Polly Albion. Book, big book of poetry called Polly Albion. Do you know who is the author? Michael Drayton. Michael Drayton. Now, uh, let me ask you other things that you know. Have you heard of poems like The Affliction, The Pulley, Easter Wings? The Affliction, Pulley, Easter Wings. Bolo. They are by George Herbert. Guys, did you know John Donne's holy sonnets were dedicated to uh, George Herbert's mother? Did you know that? John Donne's holy sonnets were dedicated to George Herbert's mother. Her name was Magdalene Newport. George Herbert's mother is Magdalene Newport. Will you remember everybody? The affliction, the pulley, the collar, Easter wings all by George Herbert. Now, among the metaphysical poets, who wrote nature poems like Upon Appleton House, The Garden, Bermudas, who wrote nature poems upon Appleton House, 
द गार्डन बर्म्यूडास बोलो It is Andrew Marvel. Andrew Marvel's nature poems. They are usually metaphysical poets did not write nature poetry, but Andrew Marvel wrote nature poetry. Will you remember, everybody? Wonderful. Now, uh, tell me this: Where was the mask Comus presented first? Where was the mask Comus presented first? Do you know the mask Comus was first presented at Ludlow Castle? Mask pres presented at Ludlow Castle. Those who are writing net and MA entrance, remember this. The advancement of experimental philosophy was an essay written by which writer? Which poet of the metaphysical school? The advancement of Experimental philosophy was an essay written by which metaphysical poet? It is a pamphlet by Abraham Cowley. Abraham Cowley wrote The Advancement of Experimental Philosophy. Will you remember Trinodia Agastalis? Who is the author? Trinodia Agastalis. It is by Dryden. Dryden wrote Trinodia Agastalis. Did you will you remember that, guys? Very, very important poems they are. Then uh, which was the first verse satire in English published during uh, restoration period. The first verse satire in English published during the restoration period. It is Hudibras. Hudibras. Who described Chaucer as a rough diamond that must be polished ere he shines? Who described Chaucer as a rough diamond that should be polished ere he shines? Dryden described Chaucer. Dryden described Chaucer as a rough diamond that should be polished ere he shines. You know the wife of Bath is a character in Canterbury Tales. Do you know who wrote the play The Wife of Bath? Do you know who wrote the play The Wife of Bath? He is the author of Beggar's Opera. The play Wife of Bath was written by the author of Beggar's Opera, Shepherd's Week, Rural Sports. Play Beggar, Wife of Bath is by John Gay. John Gay. Which poem by Johnson is, a, is a, uh, an imitation of the third satire of Juvenal? Which poem by Chaucer? Is an imitation of the third satire of Juvenal. Which poem by Chaucer is an imitation of the third satire of Juvenal? It is London. London and vanity of human wishes. Two satires are there. London is an imitation of third satire of Juvenal. Vanity of human wishes is imitation of tenth satire of Juvenal. Will you remember? Do you know in which year Songs of Innocence was published? Bolo, in which year Songs of Innocence was published? It is a very important year. Hudi Brass is by Samuel Butler. Hudi Brass is by Samuel Butler. Those who don't know basics, join my net course. You will get everything there. Tell me. It was in the year of French Revolution, 1789. It was in the year of French Revolution, 1789, that Songs of Innocence was published. Will you remember? Al Fox then Journal, Grasmere Journal. Who wrote? 
Tell me, Alfox Den Journal, Grasmere Journal. It was written by Dorothy Richardson. Dorothy Richardson. Tell me who wrote the ballad, The Inch Cape Rock. The Inch Cape Rock is a ballad by. Are you getting bored guys? Because I am just asking like this. Inch Cape Rock is by Robert Sade. Robert Sade. Will you remember guys? Now, um, which poem was inspired by Parchasa's pilgrimage? Which poem was inspired by Parchasa's pilgrimage? Of course, you know it. Tell me. It is Kubla Khan. Kubla Khan. Tell me who wrote the satire English Bards and Scotch Reviewers in which year? English Bards and Scotch Reviewers 1809. Written by Byron. Written by Byron. Which is the poem by Byron based on his Travels in Portugal, Spain, Greece and Albania. Which was the poem by Byron inspired by his travels in Portugal, Spain, Greece and Albania. It is Child Harold's Pilgrimage. Which book is subtitled Showing the Two Contrary States of the Human Soul? Which book is subtitled Showing the Two Contrary States of the Human Soul? It is Songs of Innocence and of Experience. Sa Songs of Innocence and of Experience. If poetry comes not as naturally as leaves to a tree, it better not come at all. Who said? If poetry comes not as naturally as leaves to a tree, it better not come at all. Who said that? It is John Keats. Which book begins like this? I want a hero. Which book begins like this? I want a hero. Tell me, it is Don Yuan. Don Yuan begins with the title, I want a hero, an uncommon want. Will you remember? Then, um, where do you find the line, where do you find the opening? The sea is calm tonight. Which poem opens like this? The sea is calm tonight. Tell me. It is Dover Beach. Dover Beach. Which is the first book by Browning, Robert Browning, published anonymously. The first book by Robert Browning, published anonymously. You know, always looking at options is not good. Sometimes we have to do like this. That is training you in some other way. It will help you remember in different ways. Pauline was the first published work by Browning. Published anonymously. Which poem by Tennyson is subtitled a medley? Which poem by Tennyson is subtitled a medley? It is the princess a medley. The princess a medley. Who wrote the poem The Lost Leader? Who wrote the poem The Lost Leader? It is Browning. Tell me, I will tell you the names of some essays. 
who is the author england and the italian question on translating homer who wrote these essays england and the italian question on translating homer who wrote these are important essays by matthew arnold the 100 greatest men other important works by matthew arnold the 100 greatest men which poem by matthew arnold is based on sohrab and rustam which poem by matthew arnold ayo that is sohrab and rustam i was going to say which poem by matthew arnold is based on firdosi answer is sohrab and rustam a uh, hazlitt also wrote but famous poem the last leader is by browning hazlitt also wrote now uh let me ask you another question wandering between two worlds one dead the other powerless to be born who said wandering between two worlds one dead the other powerless to be born it is a statement made by matthew arnold in stanzas on the grand char truce stanzas on the grand char truce will you remember guys autobiography of a super tramp is the autobiography of autobiography of a super tramp is the autobiographical work of w h davies w h davies was a georgian poet w h davies was a georgian poet will you remember who is the author of uh, diving into the wreck diving into the wreck adrian rich adrian rich american poet confessional poet adrian rich wrote a book subtitled motherhood as experience and institution tell me which book adrian rich wrote a book subtitled motherhood as experience and institution tell me which book the book is motherhood as experience and institution the book is of woman born of woman born mountain interval is a collection of poems by mountain interval is a collection of poems by robert frost mountain interval is a famous collection of poems by robert frost Hena, will you remember? Then, uh, let me ask you another question. You know that Hyperion is a poem by John Keats. Who else wrote Hyperion? Which other American poet wrote Hyperion? Hyperion is a poem by John Keats which American poet wrote Hyperion it is H W Longfellow H W Longfellow who in American literature has been called the poet naturalist who in American literature has been called the poet naturalist it is Henry David Thoreau Henry David Thoreau has been called the poet naturalist will you remember guys are you bored with poetry if you are bored with poetry i will ask you drama shall i ask you drama are you bored with poetry what is the other word for mythos what is the other word for mythos m y t h o s mythos means plot mythos means what plot isn't it which group of plays were uh, based on lives of saints 
which group of plays were based on lives of saints the lives of saints is miracle plays miracle plays which is the oldest morality play the oldest morality play castle of perseverance in castle of perseverance who is the protagonist humanum genus or man in castle of perseverance the protagonist is humanum genus or man will you remember the best known morality play is uh, every man summoning of every man or every man is the best known morality play will you remember guys then then uh there is a writer who wrote the prince who also wrote the play Madra, mandragola a writer wrote the prince he also wrote mandragola tell me who is the writer mandragola no problem you will remember i am just helping you mandragola and prince both by niccolo machiavelli niccolo machiavelli who wrote endymion the play in endymion the poem was written by john keats endymion the play is written by john lilly endymion novel is written by benjamin disraeli will you remember benjamin disraeli wrote the novel endymion play endymion is by john lilly which work by thomas lodge provided uh, the plot for as you like it which work by thomas lodge provided the source for as you like it it is thomas lodge's rosalind thomas lodge's play rosalind who wrote a letter of advice to queen elizabeth a letter of advice to queen elizabeth it is francis bacon letter of advice to queen elizabeth is by francis bacon thomas kidd published the translations of tasso thomas kidd published translations of tasso as the book called the householders philosophy thomas kidd wrote the householders philosophy did you know that it is translations of tasso okay mm. then who is the famous translator of homer in the jacobian period who is the famous translator of homer in the jacobian period famous translator of homer is george chapman george chapman uh then there is a famous city comedy called the four prentices of london city comedy it is tell me who is the author city comedy four prentices of london thomas haywood thomas haywood uh philip henslow was associated with which group of actors philip henslow was associated with which group of actors admirals men philip henslow was associated with admirals men cover her face my eyes dazzle she died young who said this cover her face my eyes dazzle 
she died young lines from which play the duchess of malfi the duchess of malfi sir jasper wants his wife to spend time with horner in which play sir jasper wants his wife to spend time with uh horner in which play sir jasper horner which play it is horner is pretending to be impotent so it is the country wife sir jasper wants his wife to spend time with horner in country wife will you remember guys in william congreve's way of the world who says one's cruelty is one's power and when pa one parts with one's cruelty one parts with one's power who said one's cruelty is one's power and when one parts with one's cruelty one parts with one's power who said this in way of the world Millamend says this. Millamend says this. Will you remember, guys? Don Juan in Hell is an act in which play? Don Juan in Hell is an act in which play? Don Juan in Hell is the third act of. Third act of. Man and Superman. it is the third act of man and superman are you feeling bored everybody do you know who is the author of the play a view from the bridge the american clock a view from the bridge the american clock who is the author it is arthur miller arthur miller then shall i ask you another question uh la the lady is not for burning is a verse play by the lady is not for burning is a verse play by bolo it is a verse play by christopher fry christopher fry will you remember in which year was utopia written in latin bolo in which year was utopia written in latin Fifteen, sixteen. Which Elizabethan writer wrote a history of the world? Which Elizabethan writer wrote a history of the world? A history of the world is by Ra uh, Walter Raleigh. History of the world is by Walter Raleigh. Now, uh, Antwerp is the place in Chris in uh, Utopia. Antwerp. Where is Antwerp? In which country? Antwerp is in which country? Antwerp is in Belgium. In which satire by Swift, Jonathan Swift? Do you have three characters? Peter, Martin, and Jack. in which satire by jonathan swift do you have peter martin and jack it is a tale of a tub a tale of a tub balni barbi lugnag glub dub drib these are places where balni barbi lugnag glub dub drib these are in which in which work book 3 of gulliver's travels 
Book 3 of Gulliver's Travels. Then, uh, Joseph Edison and Richard Steele were members of which club? Joseph Edison and Richard Steele were members of which club? They were members of Kit Kat Club. Members of Kit Kat Club. Will you remember guys? Thoughts on the education of daughters is by Thoughts on the education of daughters. D-A-U-G-H-T-E-R-S. Who wrote Thoughts on the education of daughters? Mary Wollstonecraft. Mary Wollstonecraft. Then, um, what are these novels called? Guy Mannering, Heart of Midlothian, Rob Roy, The Bride of Lammer Moor. What are they called? Guy Mannering. These are novels. What are they called? Guy Mannering, The Heart of Midlothian, Rob Roy, The Bride of Lammer Moor. These are Waverly novels. These are called Waverly novels. I am going to take a heroine whom no one but myself will much like. I am going to take a heroine whom no one but myself will much like. About whom is this said? It is said about Emma. Jane Austen said this about Emma. Isn't it? Mm. In which novel do you have the Dashwood sisters? In which novel do you have the Dashwood sisters? They are in Sense and Sensibility. Sense and Sensibility. Evelina is the protagonist of Evelina is the protagonist of Evelina Fanny Burney In which year was Sketches by Boz published? Sketches by Boz by Charles Dickens published in which year? Sketches by Boz Came in the same year as Pickwick Papers, 1836. Same year as Pickwick Papers, 1836. Then, um, in which part of England is Wuthering Heights set? In which part of England is Wuthering Heights set? Wuthering Heights is set in Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Then, who wrote the uh, historical novel, The Trumpet Major? Who wrote the historical novel, The Trumpet Major? Trumpet Major is historical novel by Thomas Hardy. Did you know Thomas Hardy also wrote short stories? He wrote short story collections like A Group of Noble Dames, Life's Little Ironies, A Group of Noble Dames, Life's Little Ironies, short story collections by Thomas Hardy. Then, whether I shall turn out to be the hero of my own life or whether that station will be held by anyone else, these pages would show. Which novel begins like that? Whether I shall turn out to be the hero of my own life, it is David Copperfield. David Copperfield.
Isn't it? Then. Who wrote the short stories? The Lagoon, Tales of Unrest, Amy Foster. Do you know? It is a major novelist. The Lagoon, Tales of Unrest, Amy Foster. The Duel, it is Joseph Conrad. Joseph Conrad has written many short story collections also. Whose first novel is The Man from the North? The Man from the North is the first novel by Arnold Bennett. Whose first novel is The White Peacock? Whose first novel is The White Peacock? D.H. Lawrence, in which year was Sons and Lovers published, Bolo? In which year was Sons and Lovers published? Sons and Lovers published in 1913. Sons and Lovers, 1913. Are you bored, guys? Am I boring you like this? Do you know... Uh, The author of Childhood, Boyhood, Youth. 19th century writer who wrote Childhood, Boyhood, Youth. Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy. How the Leopard Got His Claws is a major children's book by How the Leopard Got His Claws is a major children's book by Chinua Chibi. Chinua Chibi's major children's book is How the Leopard Got His Claws. Tell me, Life Before Man is a novel by Life Before Man. Is a major novel by Margaret Atwood. Which novel by Atwood first got Booker Prize? Which novel by Atwood first got Booker Prize, Bolo? Chinua Chibi. Not Soinga, I think. Is it? So, Inga, no, Chino had to be. Then, shall I ask you some questions from language? Will you be interested? There are many questions from language that they will ask in, net, uh, in MA entrance. The total he speech habits of a single person is called what? The speech habits of a single person is called what? Speech habits of a single person is called? Tell me. It is called idiolect. Idiolect. Then, uh, let me ask you another question. What is the full form of TPR? What is the full form of TPR? Teaching of English. TPR is total physical response. Total physical response. What is CLT? CLT means communicative language teaching. Henna, communicative language teaching. The first stage of sound production for a child is called what? The first stage of sound production for a child is called babbling. Babbling. Uh, 
the importance of which language acquisition theory gives importance to environmental variables which language acquisition theory gives importance to environmental variables it is behaviorism behaviorism gives importance to environmental variables opposite is mentalism of noam chomsky behaviorism is empirical approach based on experience isn't it mentalism or cognitivism is opposite then what is lad bolo what is lad language acquisition device lad is language acquisition device then in which year was syntactic structures by noam chomsky published in which year was syntactic structures by noam chomsky published it was in 1957 1957 in which year was the first newspaper in india published in which year was the first newspaper in india published it is hickey's bengal gazette 1780 what is the full form of call c a l l c a l l call means computer assisted language learning computer assisted language learning dekho more slides so many important poets are there in ma entrances all these poets they will ask about look at this who among them wrote the poem the runaway slave who among these poets tell me now i am going to ask you different kinds of question who among these poets wrote the runaway slave it is elizabeth barrett browning elizabeth barrett browning wrote the poem runaway slave who among them wrote margaret poems bolo who among these writers wrote margaret poems about a swiss girl it is matthew sorry it is matthew arnold matthew arnold wrote margaret poems who among these writers hailed from swansea 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 is in Wales it is Dylan Thomas Dylan Thomas hailed from Swansea who wrote the winding stair and other poems who among these writers wrote the winding stair and other poems it is W B Yeats W B Yeats wrote the winding stair and other poems then look at these other important poets who among them wrote the punishment punishment it is shemus heeny who among these poets wrote anne hathaway who among these poets wrote anne hathaway it is carol and duffy carol and duffy then who among these poets wrote a number of autobiographies a num a lot of autobiographies it is maya angelo maya angelo who among these writers wrote mass man mass man derek walcott who among these writers used the pen name victoria lucas 
who among these writers used the pen name Victoria Lucas? It is Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath used the pen name Victoria Lucas. Other important writers, they go, Bahot Sare hain. All these are important. Those who are preparing, just read extra about all these writers, will you? These writers, they always ask. Who among these writers wrote things as they are? Things as they are. It is William Godwin. Who among these writers wrote dreams of a solitary walker? Dreams of a solitary walker is by Rousseau. Rousseau, Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Who among them wrote Morris? Posthumously published novel Morris. Morris is by E.M. Foster. Morris is by E.M. Foster. Who among them wrote Gondol poems? Who among these writers wrote Gondol poems? It is Emily Bronte. Emily Bronte. Um, who among these writers wrote a play called Exiles? A play called Exiles. Who wrote? It is James Joyce. James Joyce wrote a play called Exiles. Who wrote an essay called Politics and the English Language? Who among these writers wrote Politics and the English Language? It is George Orwell. George Orwell. Who among these writers wrote a play called The Frozen Deep? Who among these writers wrote a play called The Frozen Deep? It is Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Dekho, aur bhi hai bahut sare important writers. Who among them wrote Cinnamon Peelers? Sorry, Cinnamon Gardens. Cinnamon Gardens. It is Shyam Selvadure. Who among them started a journal called Mutiri? Who among these writers started a journal called Mutiri? It is Ngugi Vationgo. Who among them wrote The Museum of Innocence? The Museum of Innocence. It is Orhan Pamuk. Who among them wrote Power Politics, a collection of essays? Power politics. It is Arundhati Roy. Who among them wrote a play, a novel called Black Prince, modeled on a Hamlet like character? Black Prince is a novel based on a Hamlet like character. It is Iris Murdoch. Iris Murdoch. Is this helping you guys or are you bored? Am I boring you? If you like the video, like it. Otherwise, dislike it, okay? If you don't like this session, you can dislike the video. No problem. They uh, call Walter Benjamin. Very, very important. A work of art in the age of mechanical reproduction. Michel Foucault. Very, very, very important. <laughs> So many questions will come. Power politics is also by Atwood. But it is not essay collection. Will you please look up these writers guys. For MA entrance these writers will be asked. Theorists. Walter Benjamin. Michel Foucault. Ferdinand de Saussure. Jacques Derrida. Jorge Luis Borges. Clean the Brooks. I will come back with question answers. Okay. Another day I will come back with question answers. Today I was tired. I didn't get time. So I couldn't make slides. 
please forgive me today then so many theories are there i am just telling you these theories please take a look at them study them and then we will do question answers another day today soon we will do question answers dekho movie adaptations they will ask movie adaptations in ma entrance othello adaptation omkara macbeth makbool hamlet haider comedy of errors do duni char aur angoor romeo and juliet sanam deri kasam kayamat se kayamat tak then adaptation of midnight children they will ask fault is in our stars is dil bechara these are all important in exam important painters also they might ask these painters also read a little bit extra okay so that brings us to the end of this session i will bring more questions for you uh, next day i will bring so uh, akanksha today itself you look up all these authors i will do more questions okay guys i will do more questions so i will uh, be revising with you very soon don't worry okay i am there i have so many uh, books and everything to use i will do everything we will give you everything okay guys bye bye good night for now this i will post in our group okay okay i'll post bye see you tomorrow